Welcome back to another CX Update. I'm your host, Dennis Wakabayashi, and today we're talking about natural language processing and natural language understanding. NLU is an advanced aspect of NLP that enables machines to understand not only what people say, but also what they truly mean. This technology is transforming businesses by allowing them to respond to customer queries even more naturally and effectively. The NLU market is rapidly expanding, projected to be worth nearly $162 billion by 2029. And industry giants like Microsoft, IBM, Amazon, Google, and Lemonade are all spearheading the development of innovations that are shaping the future of customer experience. For instance, Microsoft Azure's cognitive services employ NLU to allow developers to easily integrate natural language processing and other AI capabilities into their applications. IBM utilizes NLU to power its Watson Assistant, a chatbot platform that comprehends and responds to natural language queries. Amazon has integrated NLU into its Alexa voice assistant, enabling users to interact with their devices more naturally. Google Assistant, which understands complex queries and provides personalized responses, also relies on NLU. Lemonade uses NLU to streamline its customer service processes with their AI-powered chatbot capable of understanding complex queries and providing accurate, helpful responses to customers. Ultimately, the hot trends to stay on top of with NLU are conversational AI that enables more natural and intuitive interactions between machines and humans, NLU emotional analysis that identifies and analyzes emotions in text, which has applications in customer service, social media monitoring, and sentiment analysis, and finally, multilingual NLU that empowers machines to process multiple languages, creating opportunities for businesses to expand into new markets. On the flip side, despite its many benefits, NLU faces challenges such as biased models and privacy concerns. To address these issues, companies need to focus on creating fair, unbiased models and storing data securely while safeguarding customer privacy. They must also ensure that NLU models are easy to understand, allowing people to discern how the machine made its decisions. All that said, NLU is revolutionizing customer service, and this is just the beginning. And to gain further insight into this fascinating topic, I've asked Chief Customer Officer of eTech Global Services, Jim Ayub, who's a leading provider in the space to help us understand things just a little more. Thanks for joining us today, Jim. Oh man, it's been great, Dennis, and I'm so happy to be here with you. Jim, can you share how companies are using new AI technologies to enhance the customer experience? Yeah, so great question. So let me bring you up to speed, which even changed since last time we met. So not NLP is good, but now what we're looking at is NLU, which is natural language understanding. See, natural language processing is great. Don't get me wrong. It's very good. It processes the data, it replicates it. It's keyword type stuff, right? And, and large vocabulary databases. Now we're, now we're into the next phase, which is natural language understanding to make sure you understand the context of what the customer may be frustrated about or what they're looking for. Because traditional keywords don't work. You have to understand what the problem is, right? And then be able to put action to it. That's fascinating. What do you see as the most significant emerging trends in AI for customer experiences in the near future? Yeah, so what I'm seeing now, so we have, um, I, like I have a lot of experience in like retail and customer service, which it's funny because people think, well, you're just trying to take care of the customer. That's not necessarily true. So like what you do in a customer service world, and let's take, let's, let's take a furniture company for sake of argument, right? So you buy stuff online now. So what you're looking for is a call analysis reason. So why are you actually calling the call center if you shopped online? Then what you find as you dig down, it could be like a delivery issue. It could be a product return. It can be replace the product. It can be how hard is it for me to do business with you, which we call voice of customer sentiment analysis. And then the other one that we're seeing trending is customer an agent effort. So let me talk about that. So first you have your customer effort, and that goes back to how hard is it for me to do business with you? Then you have the other one that we're starting to look at with natural language understanding is 
what is in control of the agent to actually solve the person's problems? There are some really great retail companies out there. Without naming them, you'll know who I'm talking about. You have a problem. You go to their website. No questions asked. Let me refund it. Let me ship you a new one. Send me your other one back or throw it away. That's agent effort, which is pretty much zero. Agent has control to do everything. Then you have another one. You might call and say, I have a problem. Well, we shipped it, but it's not here. Well, wait another week and let me know if it doesn't get there. That's all the agent can do, and that's not fair. Agents should be able to go in, track the package, look at it, say where it's at. Um, I have a personal experience. We ordered some furniture. Got the email. Says it's being delivered. Didn't show up, called them up. Me, person says, give me two minutes. I'm going to put you on a place, place, place you on hold for about two minutes. Came back to me, gave me the tracking number and says, I'm so sorry. The email should have not triggered because we're not out for delivery. It's not coming for two days. And I apologize. Perfect. It's really incredible to think of how far we've come and where we're heading. Lastly, Jim, what advice would you give to businesses looking to implement AI into their customer experience strategy? Yeah, so the biggest thing that I hear in the industry is because NLP, AI, NLU, all these things you talk about, it's millions and millions of data points. And unfortunately, the salespeople come in, and I'm not knocking my sales friends, but they come in and try to solve all the problems. The reality of it is start small, right? Define the goal that keeps you up at night. Define one or two, three low-hanging fruit that you can fix quickly. Because when you see millions of data points, most people want to fix it all. Let's be transparent. You've had 20, 30, 40 years in the business. You haven't fixed it yet. So you're not going to fix them all. Start small, get the low-hanging fruit, the easy fixes, easy wins, and boom, define these are my three goals the next 90 days. Fix those, move on to your next one. That's probably the biggest advice I would give when you're looking at deploying a tech stack. Thanks so much, Jim, for being here today. My pleasure, Dennis. As always, it's great to see you. That's all for today. Thanks for being here. AI continues to be the hot topic. I'll stay on top of this topic as we go throughout the year. If you want to hear more from experts like Jim, I've included a link to my podcast, CX in the Wild, in the description below. If you have any questions, feel free to DM me directly. Thanks again. I'm Dennis Wakabayashi, and I'll see you at the next update.